And specifically, I come to you today also through the lens of a 30 plus year veteran of the IT world. And specifically, I work with teams who actually create the software. I literally know how it's made. And I can tell you, we are on the precipice of a really incredible time. You know, we've seen the, the uh, hearings before Congress and talking to social media leaders, to, um, to the leaders who are building these products and understanding in a fundamental way that for far too long we have allowed these harms to persist. But here's the good news. We absolutely positively can create better, safer products online by design and by default. It is possible, but we're not gonna do it in a way that we're gonna legalize it away, or we're gonna make it so that parents and grandparents need to become tech experts or figure out which button to push or which, which lever to allow. I don't think that's fair to do to parents. And it really allows us in a way to say, to push back on the folks who are producing these products to apply a lens of child safety in the way that they do any other risk assessment as they develop their products at a time when it makes the most sense when you are designing the product to make sure that we handle that risk before the harm can be done to those children. This is without a doubt the best solution out there in the country right now uh, to make sure that we address this need for businesses at a time when it makes sense in the design process. But more importantly, we are at a time where we can also create the best potential solution for children, for parents, and for grandparents. We can build better, safer products by design. And that is exactly what this bill is intended to do. And it is why I am confident as an IT professional coming to the table that this is the best solution in the country right now.